Yeah, for many, many years, a Dado light had been known for a distinct, different lighting character. Um, the classic Dado light, which I have here, and which will be 25 years celebration next year. 25 uh, years? 25 years. Uh -huh. It always had been re-improved in the optical side, but it always had been known for a distinct, different light character, which means we always would have a very, very even light distribution and no stray light. All the LED systems you find on the market and all other lights on the market, all Fresnel lights would typically have a big fall off area, a lot of stray light. And normally you, you use bandos to cut off some of the stray light. On LEDs or on the LED systems you find in the market nowadays, it's a very broad spread. But you don't have a LED light that has a lot of control. And we tried to find a LED light source that we could use to basically make a smaller version of the classic data light. For that we need a pointed light source and we looked for a very long time and finally found a six chip Osram LED um, because we need a pointed light source to have a focusing range of 50. At the moment I'm using a diffusion lens to even open it up a little bit more. So from 60 down to 5 degree and there's no other LED light on the market and there's very few other onboard lights on the market that can be focused. But imagine you're the only cameraman having an onboard light that can be focused. So you might be able to shoot the Queen of Denmark on the balcony and everybody else simply has not the power to focus its lights. So you make money on the end of the day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so but, but what about the quality of, of these LED lights? Um, I mean, LED becomes a fashion word. Nowadays you have many HD cameras and everybody says, well, now I need HD lighting and I need LED lighting for it. Um, LED is a very, very good compromise if you have small cameras, if you need to shoot all day long and have very little power consumption. Our 8 watt LED onboard light is equivalent to a regular 50 watt halogen light that needs to be filtered to daylight. But our LED light is a non-continuous light source. Normally the spectrum would be continuous. On fluorescence, everybody nowadays knows that you might have a big green peak after a while and you need to filter it. On LEDs, because it's not a continuous light source, you also have a peak and you don't have a great color rendition. The LEDs that we are using nowadays in the high quality broadcast area are good enough. Good enough meaning that skin tones, which is the most important for all the video reporters, um, come out okay. Um, if it becomes really critical for studio situations, everybody still would go for regular discharge bulbs for daylight or halogen bulbs. Um, but we think we offer a unique product that actually reassembles the qualities for which we achieved uh, two Oscars and an Emmy Award. And uh, we didn't start to sell the product yet, but wherever we show it, they want to have it. We, we will produce 240 units in the first batch because it's really difficult to get a good quality of the LEDs in a big volume. So we will make 240 units and the price is around 400 euros without the battery adapter. The idea is you buy the light naked, which can be powered directly from your direct uh, DC out. And something that's also unique, our LED light can start with 6 volts. Normally most LED systems need at least uh, 9 to 12 volt, but the smaller batteries only give you 7.2 volts. And then because there's so many different battery systems on the market, you basically specify which kind of battery system you use. You will get a different set of, of backplates and you simply can mount it by yourself and connect the uh, power connector. So it will be future ready.